So is a range view worth the hype? Most of the hype about MPC3 is the addition of a range view. A range view is a linear arrangement mode where all your tracks and notes are displayed on a single timeline. Use it to write and edit an entire song in one place. It provides a DAW-like experience on the MPC, but a range view assumes a new workflow. Forget about creating sequences and using song mode. Write your entire song in a range view as one sequence. You can open a range view in a few ways. From the menu screen, press Arrange, or from Grid View, press Arrange. In Arrange View, tracks are listed on the left. Add a new track using the plus button at the bottom of the tracks list. Select a track type. To add a drum track, you'll need to browse and load a kit, then return back to Arrange View. Press and hold the tracks header for the track edit menu. Double tap the tracks header to rename the track. To edit notes of a track, you'll need to use the track editor. Select a track, then press the up arrow on the screen. There's a split screen with the arrangement on top and the track editor below. Think of the track editor as grid view. This is where you edit the notes of a track. Press the down arrow to close the track editor. You can also double tap the notes of a track to open the track editor. Press the edit menu for sequence settings. Here you can adjust the length of your sequence and other common settings. Press the gear icon to edit grid settings. Use locators to create markers at key sections of your song. To add a locator, move the playhead where you want a locator and take note of the location in the Beats Bars Ticks field. Double tap this field, then select Locators. Enter the location in the Beats Bars Ticks area of the locator. Name it and save. To move to a locator, press and hold Shift, then select a locator. Then press Play to start playback from the locator. That just leaves one question. 